Hi gang, this is Mr. Baker here again. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to create a table in Excel, make it look pretty and prepare it for generating a chart. So let's make a start. We're going to start off putting in our column headings. So let's put in our type of ball. Don't worry about the fact that it's overlapping, we'll sort that out in a minute. And then I'm going to put in my bounce height. Let's make sure we put in our units of centimeters. Let's just make things a little bit tidier by opening up and making sure that these cell widths are big enough. Now we had a number of trials so that we're going to put in our trials along here. Test one, test two. Let's make it easier for us though and highlight both of these. We have five trials. So you see this little black box over here. And if we hover over it, the white cross turns into a black one. So we hover over it and then we can click and drag. You can see it increments by one till we get to test five and let go. So click and drag. And then our last column here is going to be our mean. We also have percentage efficiency, so let's put that in as well. And instead of reinventing the wheel, let's just click and drag highlight all them, go up to copy, and then click in the first box again and go to paste. And that just doubles up the columns that we had for bounce height. I'm going to press the escape button to get rid of the marching ants. And we're nearly done. We'll put in our numbers for our next video, but let's just tidy it up here a bit. I've got bounce height here, but it's stuck in cell B2, but I want to have it stretch across all these cells here. So let's do that. Let's highlight all these cells. And um, we'll go up to this button here, Merge and Sense. And if we press that button, then it spreads it across those one, two, three, four, five cells. Same with percentage efficiency. Click and drag. And Merge and Center. One more thing we want to do, we want to do the type of ball as well. So I'll click and drag those two and Merge and Center. And let's tidy it up by putting it in the center with this button here. And you see that type of ball column heading was moved there. I'm going to have five different types of balls. So I want one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to click and drag from here all the way across till I highlight the whole table. I go up to this button here where it says all borders. And we have some nice borders around and we're ready to put in our numbers.